Mark Rogers TV running down the best of defensive backs in college football. We are just 70 days away from kickoff. We are pumped. We are looking now at some of the best athletes in college football, of course, playing at safety and cornerback. Let's run down the top 10. We start at safety. Number 10 is Ty Zimmerman of Kansas State. This guy has 36 career starts with Kansas State. Of course, the defending Big 12 champions at 12 and 2. 36 career starts last season, 50 total tackles, three tackles for loss, and three picks for Zimmerman. Now, Kansas State's front seven on defense has been decimated going into 2013, so that means more responsibility for Zimmerman in the run game, and that means he's going to have less of a pass rush to deal with up front, therefore more responsibility as well in the pass game, but we believe this all-Big 12 performer is up to the task. At number nine, one of the best cornerbacks in the country, Ifo Ekpre Olomo out of Oregon. He really supported the run. 63 total tackles. Listen to this statistic. 20 passes defensed, six forced fumbles. So he hit people and stripped the football. Four picks for Olomo against some of the best quarterbacks in the country. Talking about Mannion of Oregon State, Hogan out of Stanford, Scott, Barkley, all these guys out of the Pac-12, and in the big game of the season, although Oregon lost it to Stanford, Olomo stepped up big. Nine total tackles, two forced fumbles, and a recovered fumble in that big game. Oregon is set at corner. The other corner, Terrence Mitchell, one of the best in the Pac-12 as well, along with Olomo. Oregon will contend possibly for a national championship again this season with Olomo, our ninth best defensive back in college football. At number eight, we've got another safety in Aaron Colvin of Oklahoma. 52 tackles, two sacks, two and a half tackles for loss, four picks, and 11 pass breakups for Colvin. Tony Jefferson, the defensive back leader in the secondary for Oklahoma, is gone. Step in Aaron Colvin. Athletically, he's been the guy, but he's going to have to take more of a leadership role there in Norman, Oklahoma. At number seven, we've got cornerback Andre Hall out of Vanderbilt. 14 passes defense. That's the second best figure in the SEC in 2012. 48 total tackles and two picks. Andre Hall was second team all SEC last season and had a great game against a now NFL quarterback, Mike Glennon of North Carolina State in the Music City Bowl. The Vanderbilt secondary, make no mistake about it, is one of the best secondaries in the country. This guy, the biggest reason why, cornerback Andre Hall of Vanderbilt at number seven. We go down to the sixth position with free safety Ed Reynolds of Stanford. Again, he plays for one of the best defenses in the country, and despite a few losses, we know about the linebacking core, maybe the best in college football. The front four is very solid. The secondary, good as well there at Stanford. They've got a top five defense coming back in 2013, and this guy is senior. Ed Reynolds coming back with six picks in 2012. He made some of the biggest plays for the Cardinal in winning the Pac-12 championship. Three returned for touchdowns along with 11 passes defense. Ed Reynolds, number six, our sixth best defensive back in the country from Stanford. At number five, we've got a blue chip athlete in Craig Lowston, the safety out of LSU, who racked up 55 total tackles, two picks, three passes defensed. This guy was a top recruit coming out of high school. He's finally starting to live up to the hype, and he's really going to have to step up his play. And much like we talked about with Zimmerman at Kansas State, he's going to have to be more of a leader for the Bayou Bengals in 2013. LSU probably suffered more NFL losses of quality players on defense than any program in the country last season, and specifically Eric Reed at safety. So Craig Lowston of LSU is going to have to step up at safety for the Tigers to stay in the SEC hunt. He is our fifth-rated defensive back. At number four, we've got safety. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix of Alabama as we stay in the SEC. This guy had 37 total tackles, five picks, nine passes defensed, and one of his best games was when it was all on the line at the BCS National Championship game against Notre Dame. He graded very high in that game. The junior in 2013, of course, comes back off a national championship team that rated number one in the nation in total defense, scoring defense, and rushing defense. And hardly anybody's going to pass on Alabama as well this season with ha-ha Clinton Dix 
playing at safety, the fifth-rated defensive back, fourth-rated defensive back in the country, according to Mark Rogers TV. At number three, we go to Florida State with safety LaMarcus Joyner. He was a safety last season, going to make the move to cornerback. He's a big-time hitter, going to take his coverage skills to cornerback. We know that Florida State lost more players to the NFL in April's draft than any program in the country, many of those on defense. Joyner's got 27 consecutive starts in Tallahassee. He's on all the awards watch lists. He is on the radar this season. Six career interceptions, 51 total tackles in 2012. LaMarcus Joyner, one of the best in the land for a very talented Florida State bunch. At number two, we've got another cornerback in Marcus Roberson of Florida. This guy played with what we thought through at least 12 games, not playing in the SEC championship game, the best defense in the country, again, through 12 games. But then they hit Louisville and Teddy Bridgewater in the Sugar Bowl and really took a step back. A lot of losses for the Gators on defense, but Roberson comes back as our second-rated player at defensive back in 2013. Two picks, 14 passes defense, which tied uh, Andre Hall of Vanderbilt for second in the SEC. 12 passes broken up for Marcus Robertson, uh, Roberson. And uh, just look at the Florida numbers and what that defense did against some of the best offenses in the country in limiting Texas A&M, Georgia, South Carolina, under 20 points. The Gators were rock solid on defense. They also handled Florida State as well, and Marcus Roberson, one of the big reasons why. That brings us to our number one rated cornerback in the country, number one DB in all the land, we finally get to the Big Ten, and Bradley Roby of Ohio State led the nations in passes defensed along with Olamo of Oregon with 20 passes defensed, five career interceptions for Roby. He's a special teams monster, blocks, kicks, recovers fumbles, actually was the only player in the country last season that scored a touchdown on defense and special teams three different ways. Roby at 63 total tackles. He's a junior coming into this season. Has 4-2-6 speed as measured at Ohio State University. Bradley Roby facing a Big Ten receiving core that's really down. So that's the one thing that we have not seen from Bradley Roby last season in taking on probably the Penn State kid and Jared Aberderis, the best wide receivers he faced last season. Of course, the Buckeyes not getting to a bowl game, so we didn't see him against an elite receiver. We're looking for that this season. Bradley Roby at number one out of Ohio State. We certainly have to hear from you, college football fans, on your best defensive backs. Who was rated too high? Who was too low? Who needed to be on this list? And who should get the boot? Right here on Mark Rogers TV.